Hey guys, Bushcraft412 here. And what I want to do today is a uh, smaller size zombie kit. I did a, a video a couple months back on uh, my zombie survival kit. And uh, well, learning from the comments, and not a lot of people were happy with my kit. So I wanted to do a smaller, more compact version. A lot of people felt the kit was too big to carry. And so I wanted to kind of do an update with something a little more smaller, lightweight, portable. And uh, plus, you know, this is just a nice break from... Uh, for making serious videos, you know, you make you make all these videos. And it, it's nice just to do something different, it's a little more, uh, you know, fun rather than so serious. So here we go. We got the zombie apocalypse on hand. There's certain things you need: the gun. I'm paring down from a uh, full-sized uh, carbine rifle to a pistol, nine millimeter Ruger, with uh, good old hollow points for. Uh, Exploding some zombie brains all over the sidewalk. Very good, dependable. Kind of a heavy gun, but very dependable. It's like a tank. Great, great gun to have. The only thing I do need is I could definitely use a couple more uh, magazines for the gun. I only have the two, so I definitely should up that to three or four um, for safety's sake. You can never go wrong with a good pocket knife and of course I have chosen the Spyderco Tenacious it's a good all-around budget pocket knife nothing you're gonna kill zombies with but for utility purposes in the field very handy never leave home without one as for main knife I went down from a machete to a smaller dagger style blade this here is a uh, Shrade Extreme Survival it is a uh, stainless steel, so you don't have to worry so much about the uh, blade rusting up on you if you can't care for it. After all, it is a zombie apocalypse and you're going to be on the run. It has a good metal pommel, which you could use for uh, pommel attacks on possibly zombies or human beings who are in your way. Overall, a decent knife, but once again, you know, I decided not to go with the machete for the, for the uh, sake of... Uh, weight and size so I want something a little more compact easy to carry it has an excellent uh, tactical sheath that comes with it and it has a uh, sharpening stone in the pouch there but very good thrusting weapon not so much for slashing you really aren't going to be slashing at zombies you're more going to be thrusting this up into them you know hopefully into the neck or head or wherever just trying to incapacitate them so I went with this not the best knife on the market by any means, but for $20, not a bad little knife. I like it. It's fun, and I wanted to add it into a video. Uh, next, a very important piece of gear. The Mighty Zippo. Don't leave home without one of them. And the little belt carrier, so you can keep it on your belt. You don't have to worry about losing it, having a hole in your pocket or whatever. Of course, you can't be in the zombie apocalypse without having some badass patches on your jacket. So, I got a couple of these. They're Velcro, and I've got a couple of uh, camo uh, shirts and jackets with the Velcro on them that I can attach this to. Gotta look good in the zombie apocalypse. Can't be falling behind. Good flashlight, LED flashlight. Battery's a little dead on this sucker, but you always have to have a flashlight in case you need to go somewhere in the middle of the night. Good multi-tool is a must. This here is the Gerber suspension. Um, use anything from gear repairs to wilderness survival to, you know, any utility test that you may have come across in the newly uh, inhabited zombie world because you're not going to be able to count on anyone else and you can't bring a ton of tools with you. So you got to pack as many as you can into one small device. So a good multi-tool is a must. Now I had the uh, zombie maces that I made out of uh, trailer hitches and pipes in my original video and you know they did seem you know they are kind of big and bulky and cumbersome so I wanted to uh, go down to a smaller impact weapon but that something would also have a, util uh, a utilitarian purpose and the only thing I could think of that really fit the bill was a good old hammer think about it number one this is an excellent zombie weapon this will smash their brains like a rotten watermelon you have a claw, which, pff, do I even have to talk about that? That will make one huge mess. Um, I picked one here with a, uh, this one here has a wooden handle, but I would highly recommend getting one with a metal handle, preferably like a one-piece, 
maybe like a heavy uh, 23 ounce hammer with a long handle something like that I don't know my hammer so I don't know the exact name of what I'm looking for but something more like contractor grade rather than this household one right here uh, number one you're gonna be able to use this for uh, defense against close-up zombies and it's actually really easy to carry all you need is a uh, uh, simple uh, pair of cargo pants and you can put it right in your cargo pants and if that doesn't work you can uh, just take a little piece of paracord and make a uh, like a belt loop and hang it from your belt whatever you want to do but great item you can also use it for accessing areas if you got to break into a building you know you can use it as a pry bar so if you have to enter into buildings or escape buildings it's a great utility item to have and will uh, be a great asset to your food gathering abilities and uh, also in your defense so there is that and of course I did not show any food or water or anything like that come on guys do you really want to sit around and watch a video about me making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich no you want to see stuff that's gonna basically take zombies heads off and here it is my lightweight small zombie kit for you to enjoy much smaller than the original probably about 10 pounds worth of gear right here and she'll be able to help you out in just about any zombie situation hope you enjoyed